I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low-carb green chili cauliflower casserole. It's very tasty and it's a great way to use up that casserole and get those nice vegetables into us. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I want to steam my cauliflower. I have a steamer here. If you don't have a steamer you can use a pot with water in the bottom and use a little colander thing to sit it off the bottom and and do it that way if you'd like or you can boil it it's up to you but I'm using my steamer so I'm gonna put it on for about 25 minutes and it'll be ready to go so now we're gonna make the sauce for the cauliflower so the first thing I did was I took um, my 8 ounce package of of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese or cream cheese and I put it in the microwave to soften it so it's nice and and soft so it isn't a hard block the way it originally comes so that's nice and ready to go next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a half a cup of mayonnaise and I use Hellman's mayonnaise I quite like it the best and actually I think mayonnaise is pretty boring. I always have to add stuff to it because I I would not put it on a sandwich. You know how you put mayo and tomato and bacon and all that stuff. I just don't like that because I just find it's so blah. But if I add it to things, that's okay. So we'll mix that up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a half a cup of sour cream. Now the sour cream I put in was 14% because the carb count was better on it than the other percentages. So let's mix this all up. And now um, I've used in my other recipes bacon crumble. We have a store in town, it's called Rico, R-I-C-C-O, and they distribute to all restaurants and stuff. And um, this is the bacon crumble. So I have a half a cup of bacon crumble. Get everything out of there. Mix that up. This is delicious. Now, we're going to add in normally we use jalapeno peppers but my husband doesn't like the super spice, but I highly recommend you using jalapeno peppers. But I'm going to use these, um, where are they? They're green, chopped green chilies. And I'm going to use the whole container. And it's 127 ml, so I'm going to put that in there as well. It's still going to be too hot for them. But we're going to put it in here. Mix it all up. So if you're doing jalapeno peppers fresh, take the seeds out. If you leave the seeds in, they're really going to be super hot. Take the seeds out and use about a quarter to half a cup. Just depends on how hot you want it. And the last couple of things, oh, I got to go get it. I put it over there and didn't bring it back to the table, the counter. A quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt. So we'll mix that in. And then I've got four ounces of, I'm using um, Colby Jack cheese because that's what I have. But if you have a cheddar cheese, use a cheddar cheese, four ounces. So we're going to take all of that and we're going to mix this all together. There we go. So we'll stir this all together. My cauliflower just got finished steaming. So it should be good to go, so I'm going to get my cutting board, cut it all up, and then we're going to add, in a bigger dish, the cauliflower and this mixture together. It's really good. Great flavor. A lot of people use this as a dip. As a dip. I love it as a side. I just forget the crackers or whatever. I just eat it because you got little, you got your chunks of cauliflower and it's very, very good. So my cauliflower is all steamed. I'm just going to, whoop, don't want to lose it. 
separate the florets. It's quite warm. So we'll separate them and then I'm going to chop them, chop them up into smaller pieces. It's warm, so be careful. There we go. This is delicious. I just love them. It's just so cauliflower, so versatile. It's, it's amazing what you can do with cauliflower. So I'm just going to break up in pieces. Just like that, I'll continue when I got it finished. We're going to put this casserole together. There we go. I think I've got them. You want kind of bite-sized pieces. <clears throat> so I have a, a, a dish over here, an ovenware dish, so I'm going to put it in there and I'm hoping that I can stir it in at the same time without having to dirty another bowl. This one needs to be cut a little bit. Great recipe. You're going to really like it. I just know you are. So, now we're going to take and mix our sauce into the dish with the cauliflower. So, we'll work on this. And when I get it all mixed, we're going to add a little bit of stuff on top. So, the finishing touches, we're going to put in a, another half a cup of bacon crumble on the top. I'm just going to spread it around here. Well, my oven's ready to be, the dish to be put in. So, I've got a half a cup on the top, and then I have another four ounces of cheese, cheddar cheese. Um, Colby Jack cheese is what I'm using. I did it really fine, the shredding, so it kind of, they're stuck together. And four ounces is about 118 milliliters. Scrape up the rest here. We're going to put it in the oven at 350 for approximately 30 to 40 minutes and get it all nice and bubbly. Okay, once it's done, we'll give it a test. So here is my low-carb green chili cauliflower casserole. It's a nice side dish. It's delicious. It really is. It's not really peppery hot. I do highly recommend using the jalapenos instead, but like I said, I did it milder for my husband because this is a big casserole and I don't want to be able to have to eat all of it myself. And it does freeze very well also. It's creamy with the bacon and everything. There's a little bit of kick with this, but not a lot. So if you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com Try this recipe and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.